if you haven't watched the other companion video released just 10 minutes ago please go check it out today we are covering Avicenna the Persian polymath he was born in the country we now known as Uzbekistan Uzbekistan is a beautiful country but that's not all he was also had ancestry in a certain northwestern country if you know what I mean Apart from that, did you know that this guy memorized the entire Quran by the age of 10? That is an achievement because if you don't know, the Quran is 800 pages. Not only that, that but he had a, a, the fabulous support of teachers who taught him philosophy and many other subjects. He pondered uh, a lot philosophically uh, with a theory that was against the common law and confluxed the book that troubled him the most as a teenager was Aristotle's metaphysics so he would literally sleep not sleep for this and uh, he would go pray uh, and pray until uh, Allah gave him the answer he did get his answer from Al Farabi's commentary then at 16 he had what you can call teenage angst or a career change and he became a doctor a fabulous one at that too oh but the wait isn't over yet he was also involved in thinking about logic including thought experiments wait a second because his magnum opus is the book of healing or medicine this is the book you need to read and what is the thing you were talking about yeah the floating man thought experiment basically exploring what it means to be self-aware if you can see it on the screen right now the skull of himself uh, another said when they were making the new mausoleum back uh, around 60 years ago and the legend and the legend has a legacy the f so many see the screen and that's it thanks to these Please make sure to like and I guess that's it for today. Bye-bye.